I'm going to pick up where I left off a few days ago on this tune called Dr. Martian that I started online in the previous stream. listen to it since that session the other day um and i think what i'm going to do today is clean up and organize this and turn stuff into audio and make sure that the, this is solid as a foundation and then start like decorating the thing <laughs> I mean, that's not the greatest sound. Um. Isotope trash. Hey, how's it going? All right. Yeah, throw in isotope trash, and I just sometimes skip all the sections except for convolve and go into these. Um, it like puts a uh, convolution sh space shape onto something you know it's not really for long reverbs but it makes it sound like you're in a different like in this case you know fishbowl like inside of a space which is really cool for boring sounds it spices it up and then i'm going to do something on top of that
totally. I think I like this one. This this preset. There are some crazy. I collected a whole bunch of things that work in here, um, outside of the program. But this one has. It's called the body, but there's a whole uh, folder of amps. Let's see. I'll just kind of browse. I'll put that thing on a loop. of an amplifier. Like they make these from actually playing a sound. Like they sweep a sound goes all the way up the frequency range out of that speaker into a microphone and then they remove the sweep and what's left is this imprint of this, like, whatever the thing is you're trying to kind of sample the um, convolution reverb is what it's called. But. These ones are designed, but they're mimicking the sound of animals. I don't know how much I agree with whether they sound like those things, but people really get creative with these. But like I have a whole folder of vintage mics. And each one kind of just puts a different vibe on it and you could get lost in this and it's so subtle that it it kind of doesn't matter as much but um where, where we started in this uh body folder which i find is immediately going to do something interesting that's the fishbowl and these are presets that come with trash to this body folder Some of these are kind of gnarly. That old school one, I like it. And here's, here's a cool trick. Um, I'm gonna map that mix slider. Isotope Trash 2 is a really old plugin, so it doesn't, it's, you gotta kind of do some stuff yourself manually here. So it can hit configure, just, tap that one control and now I can control it from here which means I can automate it from live or I can use here let me save as while I'm getting crazy here save a new version of what we're doing So I can then bring in, there's a few things over here, like LFO. That looks weird.
So now I'm just mapped the LFO, the external LFO, to this slider dry, wet on that uh, convolution sound that was making it sound really wide. So check it out. So that's just automatically going to move that. And I can change the speed for... Now I'm going to just commit this to, um, I'm going to bounce it. And so I'm going to put some, a couple more uh, effects on here before I do. Actually, all I need is glue. And I'm just going to try to squash it a little bit, make it a little louder. Um, Two of those in a row would do it. And then once this is audio, I can do more stuff, but this will just make for a nice, interesting sound. Starting in a weird place or something. Yeah, look, it's late. And that sounds cool when the beat's going, but it doesn't sound cool when there's no, nothing keeping time, then these elements need to be more on the grid. That's off. I almost think I should just quantize it. It also has too much of an attack. I keep hearing like kind of edgy attack and I'm not sure where we're getting that, but we need to do something about that. So what do I have going on? Filter. So I'm just giving it a slower attack, really not much, but maybe that'll get rid of the click. I'm just going to bounce that. Oh, I didn't mean to lead it. Just do that. That's funny. I didn't hit anything. All right. I like to just commit to stuff. And so then it's a new set of challenges. But if I leave everything MIDI, then it gets to be, a, first of all, the project is like, you know, takes up more pr power and it has a more of a chance to crash. Um, 
Second, I like to see the audio and then I can zoom in on stuff and get it just right or make it mute it for like things. And it's just different. And when I look at these dots, I can't tell really what's going on. I can tell that there's something happens and it lasts maybe that long, but I don't know. So it's nice to go through and make audio out of each thing. sounds but maybe I can do something fun with them once they're audio too yeah I wanna yeah I'm just gonna freeze and flatten all three of those because they're kind of go together then the fun stuff starts because you can flip things backwards and I, I like to do a lot of little ramp ups to each hit of the rhythm sometimes you know like reverse just white noise or symbols or whatever okay flag tracks yeah so now that looks like that <laughs> feel like when I get to this point in the writing process where I start uh, freezing stuff, it's kind of like leveling up to, okay, I'm going to finish this tune now in some amount of time. As opposed to that first time par period, the first chunk of time, it's more ex pure experiment and I'm willing to try stuff and like just have it not work and delete it or whatever. But now I'm sort of like locking in certain things. These are already audio. What is that? Oh yeah. That, that. And it's just right there too, huh? I'll bounce it and then maybe I'll use it or maybe I won't. Why do I keep doing that? freeze it's not exactly the most exciting thing freezing and flattening but it is in a way because then stuff is like much more controllable on the screen and you can use it copy it and paste it and spin and do stuff with it Look for more stuff to go on top of these tracks now that I've flattened them all.
So it's all that kind of little chops and taking out things that you can do with audio that you can't, that is harder to do with MIDI. All right, so now I tidied stuff up. I should name things and better as I go, I'll do that. But um, I'm not gonna group stuff up just yet, though I should do that soon too. Maybe I will do that, but let's, I wanna add some more fun things. <laughs> street with all this effects on it here i'm gonna flatten that which will just get rid of the effects it'll just commit those effects to the file and then i just have less stuff less stuff spinning out you know in the project and it makes it that i can add more without worrying about overloading the thing. That's cool. And that's just in there underneath. I can start <clears throat> kind of mixing that, I guess. Let's call that, um, atmosphere and as I have more there are a couple more atmosphere type tracks I'll put them in that group and eventually we'll have a nice organized thing with folders oh what do we got here a couple more I skipped over some things that need to be flattened. What's this bass buzzy? Freeze. yeah so this is pretty crucial part of the tune this channel here sounds really monotonous and simple by itself but it kind of like drives the rhythm i'm wondering about um 
changing the pitches so let's listen through a little bit with this track in mind Then I can just always cut and paste sections too of audio. I know a lot of people like to keep everything MIDI and you know really um, so that they can tweak it till the very end. But I find that if I do that, then I get sort of like stuck obsessing over it as opposed to like well that's how it is i'm gonna work with that and just in, t in my internal dialogue i end up just doing finishing tunes better that way and like with this now i can go check and see what stuff sounds like backwards really quick nah it doesn't help but it, some sounds sound really cool going backwards as the 
pickup to the actual. <laughs> up right there on that base where did the base thing go this this stuff it's so much easier to deal with when it's audio than MIDI so that this part's really easy to just go clean up like why are we still hearing it what's going on it's super weird why do we have that Something there that like seals this up. So it's either that that repetitive thing. Maybe some kind of reverse thing. So let me just put it right here so I can see it. <clears throat> so like oh, so many things are good in this spot. Um, toms and snares. are nice and long but they're a little too deep G 
too many clicks, but it would be cool. I have a bunch of reverse things. Let's just search reverse. Maybe like the, like the, just a little of the early part of that. Like minute little details, but especially in the beginning of the tune, it's really important. Or any time in the song. That was in the middle of the song, but you know what I mean? These little transitions really make a huge difference trying to get one section to feel like it just went into the next section like it was really supposed to happen. bunny type sound. All right. Freeze. I probably have like those little Bugs Bunny type percussion sounds in m most of my songs. For some weird reason, I gravitate. I gravitate toward the same sounding kicks and snares and percussion. It's because they're squinchy. They have like that rubber ball sound to them. I feel like 
there's this plugin um, in the Slate bundle that I've been using that came out kind of recently called Murda Melodies. And it's just kind of like a, either works or it doesn't, but it just really uh, mangles things. Let's see. some other preset this stuff let's see how it sounds all together one has to sound more or something so let's go back to that trash like that fishbowl something I don't always do but I should maybe do more often let me 
grab the amp. some melodic element that's my, what I think um so
sound. No, I'm 
whatever I just did, but that first note was good. It could be just like the intro sound. Committing to that. Getting some sounds for a uh, stop motion animo animation. That's, doing. That's what he was referring to. Like classic cartoon sounds, like really classic ones. <laughs> they were like funny. Super funny to make my own animated thing, but then add those classic sounds from like old school. I don't know why I downloaded that. That was just the sound of metal scraping on metal. All right, now we're just off in silly land. Thank you. 
Rendering. It's always when it's good to have like a guitar or something for the render moments. Why do I keep doing that? If I go to click on it and it vanishes. Like I deleted it. I don't like that.
doesn't peak in terms of levels. Probably bring everything down a few. I shoot for like negative six. Just a starting place. Shimmer's too much. I'm going to do vintage verb instead. Set an alarm at like an hour and 15 minutes into the session and then it just went off. Maybe that echo ending thing happens. A snare, a hit, and that's it. And there's still something left over. Cool. And because that ending th 
echo is just a big reverb. I'm going to flatten that so I can see it and fade it out and not just have it be like a mysterious thing that I can't see. Endings, beginnings, transitions. <clears throat> so much stuff to fancy up. Let's see, and now I can see how long that tail is. And I can make. Why does it always do this? It's weird flatten it makes like a separate file for the effects part the tail okay but if I don't want it to be like miles long I can fade it out earlier like that kind of thing um, do a listen all the way through from the beginning um i'm not gonna i'm gonna fight my temptation to stop and f fuss with parts of it just gonna hear it through and then probably save the session and come back for another one which will take it to the final thing where i'll do way more chopping and little reverse elements and little sound effects and bl you know bling and stuff like that on the Decorate decorations and mixing. Here we go. So that was like the intermediate session. And I think I can probably wrap this tune up in one more long one or two more short ones. 
So I'm definitely going to do that here. Um, to probably Wednesday will be the next one. But thanks for hanging out. And uh, hope everybody has a really great day and see you soon.